Whether you have a house with a mountain of clutter to conquer or are trying to find creative methods of keeping track of everything that's stuffed into your too small home, you'll find these creative and clever storage hacks to be quite useful indeed. Welcome to Jensen's DIY, and here are 23 super clever storage hacks to help you declutter your house. 1. Sometimes a towel rack doesn't always start out like a towel rack. What do we mean by this? Well, you can really turn anything, including this useful rolled wire rack, into something that can hold towels. When you lack closet space, this will keep them in a quiet corner of the bathroom, out of the way, and then, when you need one, it'll be right there. It doesn't get any better. 2. Did you know that you can use any type of bins in your refrigerator? They don't need to be special ones. Instead, you can take the average plastic bin, the kind found in any discount store, and use it to sort fruits and vegetables. The more that you use, the better organized your refrigerator will be. And it will be cleaner too, since you can remove those bins to clean them in the sink. 3. Speaking of keeping things organized inside of your appliances, these double-decker trays are great for storing everything properly inside your freezer. They're just the right size for things like frozen dinners and vegetable packs stacked up. You can even fit a few concentrated fruit juices there as well. It beats stacking everything on top of each other, doesn't it? No more towers of frozen goods. 4. There's usually one space inside your home that doesn't get used properly. The space between your washer or dryer, or between one of those appliances and the wall. Thankfully, you can use this thin rolling cart in that area. It's just the right size to fit, and it will hold any number of laundry essentials, from stain sticks and trash bags to detergent and fabric softener. 5. These metal racks are designed to fit into a corner of the shower. However, they work well in any part of the bathroom. The spring rod can be adjusted to fit between the ceiling and floor, holding the rack in place. Put extra toilet paper, toiletries, cleaning supplies, and more on it to keep everything within reach. This is great for people who lack under sink space. 6. If one of the rooms in your home isn't large enough for a traditional trash can, yet you want to have one handy, then this is a great option. All you need is a plastic cereal container, like the kind with a sturdy plastic top and an empty plastic grocery bag. The small hole at the top is the right size for most types of trash, and the container is small enough to fit into even the tiniest rooms. 7. Pot and pan lids are a pain to store. They don't stack well and take up quite a bit of your cabinet space if you let them. They usually don't fit into a traditional pot rack either, leaving you with a major storage problem. The solution lies in the small, plastic removable hooks. Place two on the wall for each lid, and they will fit right on the wall. 8. If you have shoes all over your foyer to the point that no more will fit into the closet, and it's hard to find a matching pair when you need them, then you should consider this handy hack. Hang a wooden coat rack with metal hooks near the floor, with the hooks point up instead of down. They'll hold your shoes in place. 9. Standard kitchen utensil holders take up way too much counter space. You might as well take advantage of the parts of your home that aren't getting used as space between the kitchen sink and the window above it. Hang a metal rod here and use S-hooks to attach all of your utensils to it. This will really open up your counter. 10. Things like hair dryers, curling irons, and straighteners tend to take up too much space in your bathroom. Whether you stash them under the sink or in a drawer, they limit your storage room. Thankfully, you can attach several lengths of pipe to the inside of the bathroom cabinet and use it to hold those appliances upright. The second piece of pipe for each holds the cords. 11. Whether you live with or are a clumsy person or simply want to be prepared for every emergency, you should have some first aid supplies on hand. Since traditional first aid kits tend to take up a lot of space and they aren't as organized as they can be, you should make your own. Just use some clearly labeled plastic bins, one for each type of supply. 12. Did you know that you can organize screws and other small things in your garage with empty plastic soda bottles? Clean the bottles out, put the lids back on, and then slice a round hole in each, one that's big enough for your hand to get through. 
Then, hang them on your pegboard and put a different type of item in each. You'll be able to find them when you need to. 13. Although metal storage racks, the kinds with wheels that easily move from place to place, can't hold a lot of weight, they certainly can support some simple hand weights. Place yours in the bins so that you can grab the right set. Even better, since this rack is on wheels, it easily moves from place to place in your home. 14. If you have cords laying all over the place and felt like giving up on keeping them organized, we have a solution for you. Start by drilling a hole in the back of your nightstand drawer and run a power strip into it. Plug all of your items into it and then run their cords through that same hole. Then close the drawer. No one will know it's there. 15. Rather than purchase a fancy wrapping paper holder, just use a garment bag, the kind that you get from the dry cleaners. The plastic length is just the right size to hold wrapping rolls vertically, and the translucency of the plastic makes it easy to see exactly what's there. Leave the hanger at the top so that you can stash the entire thing in a closet. 16. Think about it. If you stack those bins one on top of another, you'll have to move the upper ones to get what you need on the bottom. However, if you store them on step ladders or permanently build equivalent of them, then you don't have to rummage quite as much. Each one will be separately accessible. 17. Since some types of produce don't need to be refrigerated, such as onions, garlic, and potatoes, why not create dry storage bins for them in one of your kitchen drawers? Use wooden bins to separate each from the other, and you'll always have what you want right on hand. Plus, you can remove bins to wash them on a regular basis. 18. Place file folders inside, and then sort your holiday decorations. The flat ones, by season or theme. You can even wrap Christmas lights around a piece of cardboard and put them in there as well. 19. Those cookie sheets and muffin pans are awkwardly sized and hard to store. Find a wicker basket long enough to hold them and place them inside as if they were magazines. The tops of the pan should stick out to make them easier to differentiate. Now you just need to find the right place for the basket. 20. There's no shortage of things that you organize with small mounted plastic bins. Use them to hold sewing supplies in your spare room or tiny toiletries in your bathroom. They can hold utensils and even boxes of plastic bags in your bathroom. Mount those bins inside of a cabinet and get started organizing things. 21. How do you use the spare space above your toilet? Odds are you don't use this space for much at all. You should though, as hanging several metal bins there can help you keep your towels organized. Use one bin for each towel size and you'll have a lot less clutter in your linen closet. Plus, you can use that newly opened space for other things. 22. Your kids' Play-Doh canisters more than likely end up all over the house. Thankfully, they are just the right shape and size to fit into a metal spinning spice rack. Place one container in each slot and then put the rack where your child can reach it. They'll be able to find their desired color without making a huge mess. 23. Once again, the space over the kitchen sink, right below the window, is barely used. You can place a bottle of dish soap or a scrubbing solution there, as well as a sponge, and that's about it. Thankfully, a metal over the sink rack is designed to double the space. Use the top of the rack for larger things and the bottom for smaller items. And that's all for now. What do you think about this episode? Please share your thoughts about this video in the comment section. For more storage organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.